company I have realized how amazing and how appreciative of all the job opportunities I've had are and that I shouldn't you know I will never ever take a job for granted because I really understand how hard it is to create a business model where put is less than your output so you can um, afford to hire people and do things like that um, so I worked in let's see Oh, I worked in consulting and then I just realized that, um, you know, I just, I'm a very idea person and I just had so many ideas for businesses and doing things. And this was when I started kind of like doing YouTube videos and I would, I would stay up so late to film YouTube videos and um, I just really, really loved YouTube and beauty and fashion, things like that. But at the same time, um, I worked so hard to get the job I had that I didn't want to quit. So um, basically, after a year of working um, in consulting, I decided to come to LA um, and I did a few like entrepreneurial projects. I worked really hard on my YouTube channel. Um, that was when you know I started like making a video almost every single day and that's why I have so many videos. Um, and then I worked um, at a fashion company, at a wholesale fashion company um, in LA and it was such an eye-opening experience because you know, the people I worked with didn't even go to college. Um, you know, they were just, you know, people working like almost service jobs. Um, but learning about how, you know, how an e-commerce system works, email marketing works, how to even ship a package, um, seeing an assembly line of things, seeing how the business owner made decisions and how decisive he was and kind of the the way things were just, just the whole the whole customer service to coupon codes, to email marketing, to getting the order shipped, to getting it delivered to the end customer. That I felt like was so interesting and definitely kind of shaped me into me doing my business now today. So um, overall, I think a lot of things have helped me into my career path today. Um, the corporate the corporate the corporate experience was also pr pretty beneficial to me running a business because it gave me some kind of guideline and um, executive not executive but task management systems because once you get larger and you have more employees you need to really organize who's going to do what and streamline those processes um, um, you know study economics even though I don't take anything specifically I learned from economics into my everyday life because in economics, everything is super theoretical, right? Everything is perfect competition and in a perfect system, whereas, and you have perfect information, whereas when you're running a business, you have none of that information, right? Um, um, just the way I thought, like, I, I feel like after being an econ major, the way I thought transformed differently and everything was almost a business equation, optimal solution kind of thing in my head. Um, so that really changed the way I thought. Um, going to Duke really um, put me under a lot of pressure and made me realize that um, if I can survive this pressure cooker, I can survive the real world. But honestly, I didn't really need to go to college and I didn't need to have all those experiences to to do what I do now because everything I have learned, I've learned on the job and I've just kind of learned how to figure it out. And I think that's what's so great about being an entrepreneur is that nobody holds your hand and nobody, you know, you don't go to a school to figure out how to do this. Like, I don't care what people say, like if you go to business school and you're major in entrepreneurship, it is not the same as running your own business day to day and you know, going into the trenches and actually fighting it out. Um, so, um, so if you do want to run your own business, I think the best thing is just to JFDI, just just do it, just run your own business. Um, it could be anything, right? Um, when I was younger, I used to have a business where I rented out, um, our family had a lake, lake cabin and I would rent out our lake cabin and I advertise on Craigslist and I would make sure that the tenants got there and had the keys and all that. That was like my first little business. And from doing that, I just really understood how to market and how to sell something 
and you know I would paint this picture of this lake cabin as great for a honeymoon spa or you know a vacation or like a relaxing place um, I also babysat when I was younger and I also had a business where I sold a lot of stuff on eBay so I go to thrift stores I buy things that I knew would sell for hire at eBay and I would sell them so I've always had a very entrepreneurial spirit and mind and those experiences have shaped into who I am today and has definitely helped me with my business but I wouldn't say one thing specifically was like the answer to everything except for YouTube. I think YouTube really really helped me with my business. Um, I could do a whole nother video about that but I know this video is like bajillion uh, minutes long so I'll cut it down here but that is kind of my college, college major story, career path story. What do I want to do for the next 10 years of my life? I definitely want to be a business owner. I love having control over something. I love seeing things grow. I think that's something that I love to do is I love seeing things grow. So I love, um, you know, I love having a YouTube channel and seeing it grow. I love having a business and seeing it grow. And I'm sure I will love having kids and seeing them grow. Um, but I know that I always want to like work for myself because I just feel like I'm, I, I like to do things a certain way and I know what I'm good at. I know what I'm not good at and I can, you know, um, organize a structure around that way. Um, so what is the business going to be? It could be what I'm doing now. Definitely could be something else. I'm not exactly sure, but I know entrepreneurialism or entrepreneurism is in my blood and, um, YouTube, I will always do YouTube. I love YouTube so, so much. I just love it so, so much. And while, you know, the income from YouTube is, you know, definitely not enough for me to live a comfortable life on just yet. Um, it's something I just do it because I solely like, I love talking to you guys and I love sharing a part of me with you guys. And I feel like I am a little bit different than maybe a lot of other YouTubers out there. So I can share what makes me different with you guys. So you have something different to watch. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want me to talk more about career advice or college advice, I have so much stuff I could talk about. Um, advice for college and like even what to bring for college and just like college advice things. Um, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get to those in January. And other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!